Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your funny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Thank you for 21,000 subscribers. You guys are the best. Keep subscribing, keep liking, keep commenting, keep doing everything that you guys do. We really do appreciate. Uh, find us on Instagram and Facebook as Funny and Jesse. Check out our second YouTube channel called Funny and Jesse 2.0. Head there, subscribe, and enjoy the content that we put out. So today I'm going to be reacting to Amit did that dialogue with the pop. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. His Holiness the Pope is busy. And he is the head of 850 million Roman Catholics. His Holiness the Pope. And His Holiness the Pope has just made a proclamation. You get this morning star and you read there, he is making his wish known to the world that he wants to have a dialogue with the Muslims. Dialogue. You know what's a dialogue? A friendly chat, an exchange of views, communication between one group of people and another, in this particular instance, with the Muslims. This is what Allah Baritala is telling us in the Holy Quran. In the ayah I read to you, from Surah Ali Imran, Quran, if you want to know where Imran is in the Quran, you don't start paging through, paging through 2,000 pages to find where Imran is. What you do, go to the index and look for the word Imran and the I, and it'll tell you chapter 3. And 3 is easy to find because every page is numbered. Once you have found chapter 3, I am now telling you ayah number 64. 64 is easy to find because every verse is numbered. Once you have found it, read it. I says, pull, tell them. Ya Ahl al-Kitab. Say, O oh, people of the book. O oh, people of the book. Who are the people of the book? Our learned men will tell us unanimously that these are the Jews and the Christians. Ahl al-Kitab means Jews and Christians. Allah Bari Ta'ala is telling us to call them, Ya Ahl al-Kitab, Ta'alaw. Ta'alaw. Come, come. Ila kalimatin sawaim baynana wa baynakum. That we come to common terms as between us and you. Let us get onto a common platform. Let us get together for the sake of mankind, for the sake of peace, for the sake of God. Let us get together on a common platform. And the basis of getting together, Allah gives us the conditions. I want somebody to tell me they are unreasonable. I want to find people to tell me that these are unre unreasonable conditions. Number one, Allah says, Allah that we worship none but Allah wala nushrika bihi shay'an and that we associate no partners with him wala yattakhiza ba'duna ba'dan arbaban min dunillah and that we do not take from among ourselves lords and patrons other than Allah fa in tawallaw fa kullu shahadu bi anna muslimun but if they turn back tell them that we are muslims meaning that we have submitted our wills to the will of Allah Whatever Allah wants us to do, we are prepared to do. But let us get together in the fellowship of faith, in the worship of the one true God. The only, there is only one God, and let us worship Him, whom we Muslims call Allah. And Muhammad wasallam is not our Allah. Inform the people. Let them know. But there are millions of people who don't know these things. They think that we Muslims are the Antichrists, the Dajjal the enemies of Jesus. They do not know that in this holy Quran are enshrined the virtues of Maryam alayhi salam, the mother of Jesus. And this mighty messenger of God, Jesus, his birth is described in two places in the holy Quran. They don't know that we Muslims, we believe that Jesus was one of the mightiest messengers of God. That we believe in his miraculous birth. That we believe that he was a Masih, the Messiah, translated Christ. And we believe in his many miracles, including those of giving life to the dead by God's permission and of healing those born blind and the lepers by God's permission. In my country, when I tell this to the, my fellow countrymen, the Christians, they are thinking that I'm trying to curry favor with them, trying to be nice to them, that if I scratch their back, they might scratch my back. If I can say a few good words about the Jesus, they in turn might say a few good words about our Nabi Karim, Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. 
you know that's far from the truth. The Holy Quran in this has enshrined what I'm telling you about. There is a chapter in the Quran called Surah Maryam in honor of the name of the mother of Jesus Christ. Surah Maryam. It happens that in the Christian Bible there is no such book. This Christian Bible I have in my hand, the Old and the New Testament put together. This particular one of the Roman Catholics, I'm sorry, this one of the Protestant world has 66 books inside. 66. The Roman Catholic version has 73 books inside. 73 booklets put together creates the encyclopedia called the Bible. In those 73 books of the Roman Catholics and 66 of the Protestants, there is not a single book entitled Mary. You open the Quran and you find chapter Mary, Surah Maryam. Now you have to inform this to people. His Holiness the Pope, he wants to have a dialogue. Wherever he goes, he wants to have a dialogue with the Muslims. But suppose His Holiness was here today with us. I would have in all humility approached him. Your Holiness, the Quran tells us to have a dialogue with you. Ta'alaw, ta'alaw. Allah tells us to call them ta'alaw, ta'alaw. And in the book of Isaiah, also the Holy Bible tells you, come, let us reason together. Come, let us reason together. So, we are going to have a little dialogue. Though I had tried to have a dialogue with him, I had written to him, but unfortunately it didn't come about. But hypothetically, this evening, let us say that His Holiness is here with us today and we want to have a dialogue with Him and we start. I start by asking His Holiness, Your Holiness, what does the Bible, your Bible, your Holy Bible says about Muhammad? What do you expect to hear from Him? Or any learned man of Christianity? the priests, parsons, predicants, ministers, bishops, archbishops, without hesitation, they will tell us nothing. If you ask any Christian, what does the Bible, your Bible say about Muhammad, they will tell you nothing. You may ask, why nothing? Does not the Holy Bible speak about the, the rise of Israel? the rise of communism and even the beast in the book of Revelation, the last book of the Bible, it speaks about a beast and it even speaks about Gog and Magog, Yajuj, Majuj. All these things are mentioned in the, in the Bible, they will say yes, they are. Then surely it must have something to say about this mighty messenger of God, Muhammad who made it possible for one billion Muslims today, one billion, one thousand million Muslims in the world to believe in Jesus. Because no Muslim is a Muslim if he does not believe in Jesus. This man, Muhammad وسلم, who made that possible, surely there must be something about him in the Bible. The man will tell you, he says, son, my son, if there was anything, I would have known it. I would have seen it. I would have recognized it. But this word Muhammad is not to be found anywhere in the Bible. You may, if you have my book, it is being given out, what the Bible says about Muhammad, there is a reference there that in the Hebrew Bible, in the original Hebrew language, in the Song of Solomon, chapter 16, verse 5, it says, Hikko Mamitakim we kullo Muhammadim zehdudi we zehrei bayna Jerusalem. The word there is Muhammadim, which is Muhammad with respect and honor. In the Hebrew language, there are two types of plurals: plural of respect and plural of numbers. This is a plural of respect. As we read the Quran, as Allah says, Inna nahnu nazzalna dhikra wa inna lahu lahafizun. That it is for us to send down the revelation and it is for us to protect it. Who is this us? Father, Son, and Holy Ghost? No, we don't believe in that. Who? Allah, Jibreel, and Muhammad? Astaghfirullah. No. Who is this we? Who is this us? We know that in the Arabic language, this is a plural of respect. Allah is talking about Himself like the royal we, the royal plural. 
So Muhammadim, Muhammad is mentioned by name. But the Christian world in the translations, they have translated the word Muhammadim into the word altogether lovely. So when you read the English Bible, it says altogether lovely. You can't imagine that they're talking about Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa Like for example, if it was the praised one, Muhammad means the praised one. If it was written the praised one, you won't think, you can't imagine he's talking about Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa So we said, now let us reason, let us reason. There are chapters and verses in the Holy Bible where our Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa is referred to. I mean, such a dialogue would be very very interesting and not just between muslims and the pope but different domination different dominations um different religions coming together to have a conversation that would be something worth seeing and um i think many people would learn so much because there would be so much to discuss but then it can also be narrowed down to specific things it shouldn't be i wouldn't want it to be a debate but i would want it to be a discussion rather because a debate you're trying to prove something about a discussion you're throwing ideas here and there and someone is making you understand the point of view or how they see it and trying to make you see it from that perspective as well um hope someday that happens and not just because of wanting views from a certain uh, group of people but because you do understand that it's going to benefit not one person not two people but the world at large uh, let me know what you guys think about what amit did that have to say if there's anything you want me to react to let me know down below by giving me the name or the link and i'll be sure to check it out make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next reaction video.